you know, I was a thief. I know hotel really? rooms. Yeah. That's what kind of shit you do? Everything. Every low what's life. Cra- what's the craziest shit thing you do? That won't get you in too much trouble. No, I robbed drug dealers and shit like that. But for a while, I worked hotel rooms. They're very easy. Now I can't do it. Now you can't do it. But back in the day, I would just wait. I would just wait for a hotel. I would go to a hotel dressed up in a fucking suit with a Wall Street Journal. Like I was going to meet a friend there. And I'd say, what time does the... I'd, I'd contact. And then when they weren't looking, I'd slip in and go through up to the third floor. <coughs> I'm the type of guy in those days that I would watch a maid. And, I, and a lot of maids would put the keys in the door. And leave the keys in the door and go in the fucking hotel well, room. Because I leave all my shit in the hotel. People, yeah, that's got, it's got to be a gold mine. There, no, right? no, no, no. Listen, in hotels, A, room, room number one, I never, nobody goes in my room. You don't need to clean my room, dog. Which is, what, do not disturb all the time? All the time. Don't that's clean. not really a deterrent for a thief. Though. No, 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 no. But why have people eyes knowing what you have that don't aren't supposed to know? That's how it's done. I worked security at the Crestwood when I was a kid at 19, and you have no idea. And I was I was the bad one. What's the Crestwood? The Crestwood was a hotel in Snowmass Village, and I was security. There was two of us from five to one. <coughs> we had to walk around and drive people to the airport and pick them up and shit like that. And there was another guy that was there. The guy that got me the job was a bigger thief than I was. He was scamming it from two ways. He would watch you coming in. He knew you put money in the safe at the fucking hotel. So he would watch when you went skiing, and he'd get the key from the... No, 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 no. no. You don't trust nobody. That's how you have to... When you go to a hotel, nobody. Well, that's my thing all the time. Nobody. When we play gigs, it's like, do I leave it in the hotel or backstage at the gig? Nobody. Both of them are shit. No, no, no. I don't fuck around. You know, we were talking about... What do you do 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 with it then? Hotel safe or nothing? I take everything with me. Just keep it... Listen, you want to steal my fucking computer from 10 years ago that I want to throw out a window every two weeks? Go ahead, take it. (laughs) There ain't no nude pictures in there. They ain't dick in there. In fact, I got two Gmail accounts for the podcast, and they're different computers. My house podcast, my house computer gets different emails than the Gmail on the road. I'll, I'll go on the road. Like now, I haven't been on the road for three weeks. I open up that fucking computer. There's 2,000 emails. It's the weirdest fucking thing. So you could rob, what are you going to rob my clothes? My iPod is one of those portable iPods. I buy those cheap ones so they fall on planes. With the circle thing? Yeah. yeah. The speakers, you could take those little fucking earpods. So anything you, important you keep on you? Yeah. Know. Your Gitas, your credit card, your fucking license, and your phone. You keep on you. What else do you want to have on you? You got a ring and a chain, you put it on. You go yeah, to the I gym, guess, you take yeah. it out, and you put it in a... I try to not take anything too nice with me. On the, Well, my thing is, too, is it's harder for musicians is the instruments. So it's what yeah, a lot I've done me. things, Wheeler, that I can't believe I got away with. That this, this can't really be happening. Like, when I was out there robbing, you can't be this. Like, I was writing a joke the other day. Like, I, I, I'm not, I wasn't really a thief. But if you're going to be that stupid, I had to rob you. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if you're going to be that stupid, like, i got to run. Give me an example. I'm fascinated by this. I was in a supermarket once. I was fucking flat broke with my ex-wife. It was a Friday in Aspen. And we probably have 22 bucks for the weekend. We're buying, like, cold cuts and tuna fish and sodas. We were staying at a hotel on Main Street across from the In-N-Out sandwich shop. This is way not In-N-Out burgers. This is fucking In-N-Out burgers wasn't even a thought. And I'm in, I'm in this fucking supermarket, and I see this fucking lady going through the products, reading the caloric intake, and shit, you don't need to fucking know, just grab the fucking product. With her purse on the place where you put produce, and an envelope sticking out. And I just timed it. It's just like a fighter. When you're a thief, you just time. As soon as she goes back, the timing, and I just zipped the fucking envelope, popped it, walked around the corner with 600 bucks in there. No if you're going to be that stupid, I'm going to take it. I, I I got stuck in Santa Monica today. I'm not proud of this. I'm not proud of this at all. And this will answer a lot of questions for the people in the podcast. There was a time I would walk into fucking Toys R Us with my four-year-old daughter at the time. I'd walk in there with 60 bucks. I'd leave there with a bicycle and $600 worth of toys. Doing what? Without walking out of the fucking uh, toy store. 
that was a time when I was in, you know how, you know how they have this. How'd you do that? In those days, fake returns. You know, there was a time, you know, they, they did this movie last year about back out of Compton with a fresh out of Compton. What's the name? <laughs> Straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Yeah. And it's a great movie. I love it. I like back out and of they, Compton. And they, they talk about. Fresh out of Compton. They talk about him financing his early career with drug money. My early comedy career, 93, 94, 95, 96, I was a professional shoplifter. If it didn't have fucking screws on it, it I took it. Do, what, do you think there was a, a I don't give a fuck, fuck the world attitude that allowed you to do that? Oh, yeah. There was a, there was a certain Cause anger. Because what you're saying right now makes me like want to do it. But like no. I could see years ago like when I was like, if you don't give a fuck and you're fucking pissed off. No, I know. was angry at the world. I wasn't happy with myself. You know, I, I had a low fucking esteem of myself. I didn't really give a fuck. I was getting into comedy. I'd been divorced. I'd already been to prison. I had nothing to lose anymore. I remember one day I go to pick up my daughter, and it's Christmas Day. And I got $20. I got toys for her. That was the easy thing. But now I had to get decorations. So I fucking took, like, Christmas decorations and duct taped them to the wall and a bunch of fucking Christmas things. And I got to go get a tree. And I'll never forget this. I went to the Kmart. And next to the Kmart, there was a tree lot. And as I walk up, you're not going to believe this. There's an envelope, and it says... Pick a tree and put the money and checks in the fucking thing. I reached my hand in there, two, three hundred dollars. Who knows? That's how I ate dinner that fuck. You know, I went back eight months later and gave the guy the money. Seriously? <laughs> yeah.